Hi, I'm Carolyn, and I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna to talk about glycolic peels, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know, where to get it, how to put it on, how long to put it on, what it looks like before, what it looks like after. We're gonna get into all the little details. It's so easy, and it just leaves your skin so fresh and so baby-like. So it's just like one of my favorite things to do. So let's dive into that right now. If you have not subscribed, I would love it if you would because we just talk about all those things us older ladies need to talk about and uh, freshening up our skin and giving it that nice, bright, alive, healthy feeling is one of those things that is just such a treat for when we're over 50 or over 60 or whatever. So it's just a little refresher and I love doing it about once a month. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so we are doing a glycolic peel today. Now don't get caught up in the word peel as in that you're gonna like just have skin slothing off. It's not that kind of a peel. It's not like a TCA peel or where you're gonna have downtime. It's actually, I love doing it in the morning and my skin just feels beautiful after it. It feels like glass. It feels like my makeup just goes on smoothly and wonderfully. So it's that kind of a peel. I used to do this once a month. About six months ago, I started using Zio medical grade skincare. And so I stopped doing anything else just because I wanted my skin to get used to it. It really seemed like it was doing a good job on its own, so I didn't feel like I needed to do anything else. But something that I do have using the Zio medical grade skincare is I have a lot of flakies. And I'm just kind of over it at this point, and I just want to let all the glue that is keeping those little flakies on there, I just wanna get rid of them. So that's what this does. It just loosens the glue that keeps those little dead cells stuck to your face, and it just helps you have just a beautiful, clear complexion. It helps your skincare absorb better. Just a nice, fresh thing to do for your skin. I'm doing a 30% on my face today from here down. So I already did the 50% on my forehead just because the skin on my forehead is a lot tougher for whatever reason. We should know at this age, we probably know our skin very well. So listen to your skin. If your skin is like, oh, I'm super sensitive, then don't do a 30%. Or if you've never done one of these peels before, don't start with a 30%. Start with a 10%, a 15%. Whatever you think is going to work best for your skin. But always start at the bottom. Work your way up. These things are not expensive. This is less than $20. It's worth it to let your skin get used to something rather than just jumping in and doing something that's gonna make your skin bright red or irritated or you don't want that burning sensation at all. So my experience that I have with skincare is I used to be an esthetician many, many years ago before I gave everything up to be a mommy. But I always kept up with classes and never doing anything on other people, but just for myself because that is what I love to do. I love skincare more than anything else love skincare. So that is something I've always kept up with over the years. I just haven't done it professionally. It's not like I'm trying to beat growing old by doing stuff like this to my face. I just want to look like the best version of my age. And it's just kind of like, you know, like a challenge for me. How good can I keep my skin looking no matter how old I get? I'm not trying to look 20. I don't want to look 20. I don't want to be 20. I like being 59. So I want to look 59, but I want to look fresh and alive and as beautiful as I can at this age that I'm at. So my face is already prepped. I've already washed it. Um, even though it's the morning, I wash it. I use the exfoliating polish by Zio, and I like that they call it polish because it really does 
feel like you polish up your skin. I use it every morning and night. It's got a little bit of grit to it. It's not real gritty, but it just has a really, really nice feel. And I really do love this. I use it twice a day. So I've already used that because when I wake up in the morning and I the night before I've used their Radical Night Repair, on alternate nights, I also use the wrinkle texture repair. So I use these two at night. So they do get in there. And when I wake up in the morning, I'll have flakies. So that helps. But I do feel like I still have a lot of flaking skin. And that's why I'm like, I'm ready to get back to doing my glycolic peels. So my skin has been washed. I've used my exfoliating polish, but I'm still gonna do one more step. And that is, I'm gonna put alcohol and wipe that all over my face. I just like it to be as free of any oils so that the glycolic pill can really get in there and work its magic. You might find using alcohol on your skin is too harsh. If you do use a toner, like I said, you should know your skin and what your skin can handle. If a toner is even too much, just washing your face is possibly enough. If you have oily skin, you might want to get in there with the alcohol. I have very normal skin, but I still like to get in there with some alcohol and really make sure there are no traces of oil and then the glycolic peel can really get in there and do what it is supposed to do. I take just a little piece of gauze like this and I fold it into four and I put some alcohol on it. This, I just keep it in this little container, but it's it's just straight alcohol. So I just wipe that over my whole face. Like I said, I've already done my forehead, so I will leave that out. And then I'm just gonna go down my neck. Okay, so I have this little, I don't even think it's glass actually. I think it's plastic. So I have this little plastic dish that I do. I have this little um, brush and I will link the little brush. This is just, I mean, any little bowl will do. You can just use anything. And I will, of course, link this. And, um, you know, I'll probably link the 30%, but look, if you've never done it before, look for a lower percentage. Okay, so what I do is I take like a topper. Can you see that? So I take, so I take about like one thing full and I just put it right onto my brush. And you can do it with a gauze. I just think this is easier. So it's already on there. It really doesn't even drip off. And I just put it. The places that I would be careful of would be around your nose, like that little sensitive area around your nose. Be careful with that. Around your mouth, the corners of your mouth, like just know the sensitive areas where the skin is really, really um, a little more tender, thinner. All right, I'm gonna put another, I'm just gonna put another one in there and then I'm gonna bring it down my neck. I don't put any jewelry on because I would like to get right in there as close to my ears, a little behind my ears. I even go over my earlobes. And I just keep adding more as needed. Getting right close in, a little behind my earlobes, and then all the way down my neck. And then as soon as I get that all on, I tell Alexa, three minutes. You might wanna do two minutes. Alexa, timer, three minutes. So now. Oh, she's so sweet. All right, so now I just leave it. I mean, I know I keep, I'm just gonna put a little bit more right in here. I'm not sure if I got there or not. And then I just sit here and wait for three minutes. So how it feels is a little, a little tingly. Now, if you feel like it's burning and you're like, ah, 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 then take it off. Like it shouldn't feel that 
stingy. You want it to tingle so you know it's doing something, uh, but I don't think that intense burning feeling is what you want at all. You might have super sensitive skin and if you do and it is burning, then take it down, go lower build your way up or maybe you never have to build your way up maybe just lower is what your skin needs so now we'll just sit here and wait okay so alexa just went off and just before just for a couple of seconds i'm gonna go right around my eye just because i have so many flakies around there and it's such a sensitive area I don't want to leave it on the whole time but at the same time I want to get just a little bit in there I'm also gonna put just a little bit up here because again whenever I'm putting on my eyeshadow there's always flaky so I'm gonna put it just for a few minutes the let uh, a few minutes a few seconds okay because this is really a very sensitive area okay so they say you do not need to neutralize it. I disagree. I get this, so you don't have to get this. I just find this really convenient, easy peasy. You can use water and baking soda, put a little mixture of that together and put that on your skin. That 100% will neutralize it. They do say just wash it well, but I am going to start by neutralizing it. So that is how I do it. So because this is a spray, it's easy to use. The, the baking soda, like I said, it works 100% perfectly as well as this. It's just a little messy for me and I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of messy. <laughs> so I just spray a little on. I take one of my gauzes and I put it in for it and then I just wipe it off. And then when I'm done um, wiping it off, I'll go wash my face. So this is what it looks like immediately after doing it. Now I'm gonna go wash my face and I will come right back and that is when my skin is gonna be ready to suck up whatever I put on it. So I'm gonna put a really good moisturizer. I'm not gonna use my regular Zio morning skincare. I'm actually gonna go straight into just a moisturizer and you can use whatever is your favorite. So I'm gonna use the best moisturizer I have in the house right now and that is my La Mer uh, but whatever moisturizer you love just something that's really going to be soothing and moisturizing you don't want to put anything with any more acids in it you don't want to put your vitamin C you don't want to do anything like that just something that's gonna just sink in and moisturize your skin just wash my face with um, just the CeraVe hydrating creams of home cleanser been using this for years and years and years and years. I actually, when I first started using the ZO line, I also used their cleanser, which I think it was really good, but to spend that much money just on something I'm washing off my face, I kind of went back to this, just because it works great, it's moisturizing, I, I think it's so really good, and it's just not expensive. So, I did go back to that, so that's what I just did. I washed my face, and this is what it looks like. I don't feel anything, I don't feel any tingling, I don't feel any tightness. You might for a little bit, um, but I don't. My skin is just really used to having things done to it and it's very used to having the glycolic peel done. Um, now I just want to moisturize. I'm using my La Mer. This is expensive, so I, I can link it if you want because it's so good but yeah it's pretty expensive i usually get it during the sephora sale so at least i get the 20 percent off but um i forgot to get it in this past one and i'm very low so that's not good <laughs> so i just take a little bit and the way with the la mer is you want to kind of warm it up in your skin but just use any moisturizer that you love it's all good because your skin now is just ready oh, to take it all in. That just feels so lovely. And I'm going to get 
right in there around my eyes because I did put a little on my eyes. So as you can see, my eyes look a little, a little rosy, but they don't hurt. They don't feel tight. I mean, just really feel smooth. My skin, oh, I wish you could touch it. We'll do it to your skin and you'll see. Oh, it just feels soft and delightful. So like I said before, it's not going to be one of those peels that you're just pulling off the skin or you can't go out in public. It's just actually, I like using it before, you know, a special event or um, when I just want my skin to look really glassy and smooth and beautiful. And then, you know, I'm gonna go now and put on some makeup and I'll show you just how nicely the makeup goes on and um, you just go about your day. So it's no 100% no downtime. So I'm gonna go put on some makeup and I will be right back. So I did go put on some makeup, but when it came to the foundation, I almost didn't want to put any on just because my skin felt so fresh and clean and smooth and beautiful. But I want to show you how nicely it goes on. So I just put a light foundation on. I bronzed it up a little bit just so that it would match my self tannered body. But it's just one of those things that just gives you immediate gratification because your skin comes out looking flawless, but it continues to improve your skin texture as well in between applications, in between treatments. So this is how it looks like immediately after. So this was my first time doing it since I started using the Zio skincare. So I wasn't sure how that was going to work. I didn't know if my skin would be more sensitive now, but I think it actually takes better to the treatment using the skincare. So I think I'm ready to do this again once a month and just get rid of all those dead skin cells that just want to kind of hang on, those ones that are gripping on for dear life. It just gets them all off and voila, you look fresh and fabulous. So thanks for hanging out with me today. As always, it's a lot of fun. And until I see you next time, bye.